Hey guys, it's Damo. Uh, real quick, I wanted to frame the video you're about to see. Today, Brian and I did a little experiment with the liquid chalk, which uh, is the root cause of our criminal mischief charges out of Hamilton County, Indiana. So today we took some regular chalk and the liquid chalk, applied it to the two different types of concrete, let them sit for a varied amount of time, and then started to wash them off. And so this will be the longer version of this experiment. But for more, click the link in the description below, visit coplock.org and coplock.org slash Mac. Peace. You wanna do like four spots, you're like, A, B, and C will, right? Like the letters, A, B, and C. And like A will wash off in like 10 minutes. 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. Multiple services, multiple time frames. Cleaned an area. All right, let's go make some chalk. I'll take the camera. Uh, uh. So Brian is gonna make up the yellow chalk that is allegedly spray paint. Show me what you got there. Liquid so sidewalk chalk. It's yellow, see? Let's see how much. Look, the water just runs it away. Let's get that powder up in there. Get that powder up in there. So you load it with the powder. And on the back, on the other side, is a thing that says fill to this line. Water is what it implies. So, get in there. Is that it? Yep, it should be. Just set the wrapper in the sink for now. Then we'll get you some slow water rolling. Got to fill up that line in the back. Fill line. Huh? Right. Just a little more. Fill line. And the sink just cleans right up. But that's immediate, so we're going to give some tests for time. I don't know if there's like a set time limit to shake, so I'm just going to give it like a real good shake. You got to shake vigorously, dude. Mm-hmm. This is spot A. Spot B. Spot C. And then my D. And then on the smooth stuff, we'll try to make it work. A. B. So Brian is gonna, right now the time is 1.22 p.m. on Tuesday. What are you writing? Don't write too much because we're gonna need to do a lot. You can just A letter or something. So I get how low are you? That's a good control. So you can see right next to the chalk. See there. All right. A. M with the D. C, the Mac. So we got our rougher, more seasoned concrete out here. We did brush them away for cleaning, but uh, 122 we started, it's 124. We will uh, check back in about 15 minutes. And it's 132, so it's been 10 minutes since we've chalked the liquid chalk onto the uh, seasoned concrete and newly finished concrete. So I got a hose here, it's kinked right now, standard pressure. You're not gonna wanna stand there. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get rid of this. We got standard chalk D, liquid chalk M, 
see how well it goes in 10 minutes. A light pressure, just a sprinkle. Look at that, the regular chop goes away right away. There is a little resemblance there, but 10 minutes, 10 minutes. A little speck here, but I just wipe it with my finger, gone. I'm gonna move into here to do the um, finished concrete, pull it out that way. Paint comes right off. Well, that looks pretty simple for the 10 minute test. We'll see what happens in the, uh, we'll do 30 minutes for the next one, I guess. It is uh, 151, about to be 152. Oh, there you go, 152. So 30 minutes since Brian put the white, or excuse me, the yellow uh, liquid chalk down, and here's our second control area or that we're gonna wash off. So after a half hour, we got chalk C, uh, hashtag M on the season surface, and AA on the inside that we're gonna see how easily it removes. So I've been. We're gonna get just standard pressure here. Little wiping. Whoop, need some water. And so it does seem to be taking a little more. We have little, no pressure though. We get a little closer, seems to go a little better. It is coming off. You can zoom into that. A little pressure, I imagine. Any more pressure would be a lot better. Get close. Getting right down to it. Remember if you've seen Brian making this mixture up, it's powder, so it's gotta be soluble. Going right over this chop line. Get a little rub with the hand, see what that does. It's in those grooves a little. Although hard to see, there is still minor Oh, it's coming away now, though. Yeah, it comes out. It's soluble, man. And I would say by now, a city worker has quit this aspect. But, there you go. The, well, the pavement is cleaner, and it did take a little work. Let's see. Uh, 154. Two minutes to get it off the season. Let's go see how it does on the finished concrete. <laughs> Again, here we go, blast that way. That original chalk goes right off. Hopefully this doesn't run into our other control area. It won't. And that comes out pretty easy, and I, where I recall, Brian can maybe clarify with this as well, is that uh, the Noblesville police station had uh, smoother concrete, it had a more finished concrete. So that didn't take even a minute. Came right off here, you can see there's not even a residue. The seasoned chalk area, did, or concrete area, did take a little longer, but again, we have a limited pressure hose, and so we'll see in another half hour when we do the one hour mark, and then a two hour mark. All right, so we're here at the third stage. It's been one hour. Let me show that to everybody. 2.23, one hour, one minute, since we put the liquid chalk on the ground, seasoned surface with regular chalk. We're going to try to blow, get rid of it, clean it up. Again, we don't have the best pressure, but you can see after after soluble, we only get it to get wet a little bit.
Even after an hour, it still comes off pretty easy with a standard hose. Right. I mean, this is nothing fancy. Ain't nobody breaking their back over this. Now, I can admit that there's probably better things for them to do, and I probably, if I was the maintenance man or groundskeeper of the city, I wouldn't want to do this. But uh, I also don't want cops extorting people for money or, uh, you know, killing people or not being held accountable or holding a double standard. And that's the purpose we're trying to make here, the point we're trying to make here. And again, don't tell me a city doesn't have a power washer, you know? Uh, could you imagine how easy this would be if we had a, you know, a power washer? Well, I imagine it would be relatively simple. Right. And so again, I spent a day and a half in jail for a warrant for this because this was so damaging. I mean, and again, two, one, you know, one second. Uh -huh. Something else that would probably be common would be like a brush and uh, One swipe with the brush there. Pretty much got a well look, that's just because of the puddling. But that's that, not very hard at all. But even though I think we're already successful in our point, we'll come oh, we gotta go do the one inside real quick, my bad. See how easy this one is. One hour. The smooth concrete comes off a lot easier. And again, I believe we would have take. I believe they had some nice concrete there in Nobleville. I do commend them for that. Some great A concrete. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to go the whole way with this because it's ridiculous. Oh look, and we're we're getting into our experiment there, but that was gonna be the next hour. So I guess transparency there. It's getting a little soap, but that'll probably <laughs> This is ridiculous. Alright, phase four. Um, it has now been what one hour? No, two hours. Maybe a little bit more too. A couple well, minutes past the two. Three twenty two. One twenty two. It has been Two hours now, and we're gonna do the last test area on the seasoned concrete. We'll see how long it takes to get this horrendous yellow paint liquid chalk off. There goes the regular chalk, no problem. Little air bubble. And so they probably just came out and did this, and were like, oh man, it doesn't get off. It's paint. It do, but look at this, it's minimal amount of water pressure, it does start to come up. <laughs> so now I guess the question is, are we being punished for their laziness? That they didn't get out there right away to clean it off? Or, you know, or that it took a little more work than the standard chalk? Like, can you be, should you be sent to jail because somebody had to work harder? Or even threatened with being sent to or like kidnapped. Punished in general. The... Right. I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to go through with this. We see, I mean, yes, in another two minutes I would get this off. I could probably rub it with my foot, help it out, get a, the brush over here. It would definitely go, you know what I mean? We're not like faking anything here. The time is the time, you know what I mean? Worst case scenario. So, just for shits and giggles, we'll go do the last test. Here in the garage, on the clear surface. This is more or less just to clean up for our friends because we know it's gonna happen. Look, this one barely even needs. Remember, this one did soak in it a little. So look, they could have just soaked in water, came back in an hour, had a nice, cheesy government job. I mean, the city workers who got this gig and then complained about it, 
would. It had to be cops. Had to be cops, those entitled, privileged people. I should be out protecting people, not cleaning up words that say I shouldn't kill people. Well, that's that. I don't know, man. Who are they protecting? (laughs) 